Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to make a, a filling device for under £10 in the UK to fill into automatic gearboxes. It could be the Audi S-Tronics, the Mercedes M-Tronics, uh, Mercedes G-Tronics, the BMW M-Tronics or any DCT gearboxes, the CVT gearboxes, DSG gearboxes. It's a gearbox filling tool that is very effective and you're not going to make any waste and it does the job and as long as you're putting in the gearbox oil, the correct one and doing the correct procedure, this tool that I'm going to show you guys how to make is uh, just a few plumbing tools that you need and it does the job as good as the tools would do for £100. But the gearbox or with German gearboxes let's be honest they have a lot of things in common all the oil needs to come out it needs to go back in the oil is expensive if the gearboxes go wrong they're expensive so this little tool that I'm going to show you guys how to put together is going to reduce your cost automatic gearboxes are more common nowadays they're more fun to drive and they're more expensive as well especially when they go wrong the, in, the gearboxes for example on an S-Tronic DCT transmission they're very expensive as expensive as an engine if not more why we need to change our gearbox oil at certain intervals is to keep the box healthy as long as you're putting in the correct oil into your gearbox you're going to be fine and there's certain procedures for different sort of gearboxes like for example the Audi S-Tronic dual clutch transmission it's got a procedure where you need to fill it in let it go around the whole gearbox and then from there you need to put it put in another certain amount again and then let it spin around the gearbox and then finally bring it down bring it to the correct temperature and once it reaches the correct temperature take off the plug and see if any comes out and if it comes out you know you got a correct level it's the same with the m-tronic and the g-tronic on the dct side but on the normal gearboxes like the avt on the s-tronics on the a3s or the normal gearboxes on the mercedes they got procedures where you just fill it in check the gears wait till it gets to temperature or um, drain out the oil till it comes to a steady stream you need to make sure you do the correct procedure for your gearbox so this tool is only helping you to fill it in but find your correct gearbox code and see what's the procedure on that um, checking the correct gearbox oil level so the most important thing is we know the gearbox oil is coming out and we need to fill it back in but you need to make sure you don't underfill it or overfill it because if you do any of them underfill it overfill it you, it's not going to run correctly it's going to be lumpy it's going to idle it's going to judder you're it's, you're going to be over revving by now you'd think that uh, these german gearboxes they got a temperature level or checking the uh, gearbox level they don't so most of them most of these gearboxes that i've just mentioned you need to check the gearbox level so this tool here i'm going to show you guys it, it helps you to do it the tool is just to cut your cost down a little because we know gearbox oil is very expensive on s-tronics m-tronics g-tronics dsgs gearbox has a specific code and online there's so much information you could see on your gearbox so you need to find out how to check your gearbox oil level and the procedure on putting in the gearbox oil so the tool that i'm going to be showing you guys is very effective like a lot of drain plugs on the gearbox they have uh, a thread uh, it's a male end so it's the male that goes into the female and it screws in so most bmw audi and vw they got m10 thread but then you get the one that goes in from the side as well that's like a little hook so you are uh, what you could do if you've not got the filling tool you could use like a garden hose just to get it pushed in into the dcts the one that get filled from the side so let's go and show you guys how to make this filling tool a diy tool that you could use for filling your gearbox or I'm going to show you two so the first one is any pump dispenser you need and um, this is like one you can get from Costco anywhere it costs two pounds and a pump dispenser which costs three pounds make sure it's a screwing one try to get a five litre one 
it usually takes about seven litres of gearbox oil, something like this is ideal. So once you've got this, you put the gearbox oil in there, you get some garden hose, you get a clamp, you put it through there, you put that side in there, and then once that's tightened in, you start pumping in your gearbox oil if you're going up into it. If you're going in from the side, you need your side tool for the dual clutch transmission, so that would go in there. another clamp for this side so it stays in place you're pumping that way if you've got a dst box or a cvt box or a motronic box this is the filling tool that will just usually go in through there they're like 20 pound online if you don't want to spend 20 pound um, you need a double-sided nipple something similar to this that's got a double-sided male end so what you'd need to do that from there guys you'd get a nut put it through there first and then you get the olive and then you put that through there you shove that in there and then you tighten that in there and that's a very tight fit and you might just want to spun it down but if you are going to do this guys make sure you put this end into the gearbox first spin this in and then once it's inside the gearbox this has gone inside to the gearbox then get this end in because it's going to be a bit hard twisting the wire around that's that and then you get the other end you just pump you pump it so now if you got a gravity fed one you go to the top like in this video here and you just put a funnel in there and it'll go through so that's one that's the easiest way to do it guys remember guys i keep telling you this is only the filling tool what you need to do is know the procedure and the gear oil level to make sure you've done it correctly so this is this again i keep saying this is only a filling tool if you don't want to spend 80 90 100 pound on a filling tool this for 10 pound does the job perfectly and whoever's got a filling tool the correct one that's good for you this is for more like the people who want to DIY it and you know they're not going to be using that tool more than once in every five years so this tool this will do the job now the second one how to build a gear filling tool what you're going to need is you're going to need a female MT that's got three way this is a couple of quid at the plumbing shop two stop taps you can put some PTFE tape in here you get the male end and screw it into the female and put some PTFE tape here. Do that for both sides. Okay guys, you get another little bit of hose. You put the nut in first and then you get the olive. Put that on so it crimps there. And then you need another nipple, a double sided nipple. That's the male end and you screw it into here. You could put some PTFE again on this end here. You get a bit of garden hose. If you could get see-through, it's better. You put the nut in first, then the olive. And then you could shove it in through there. That gets a nice little rub of that. And then you just tighten this down. So with this device here, we could close it off. So once you've tightened it, you're going to need to tighten it. I'm just going to show you guys. So that's closing it off. So say we want to fill up through this end here and it'll go up. And then like the DSGs, to check the um, gear oil level, it's going to come back down. So we're going to shut off this side when it comes back down. That's open right now, so we could shut off this side. And then we could open it this way. So when it goes up, when it's got too when it's got too much, it'll come back down. And then this side's closed off, so it'll come out this way. So we know now. Then we know the gearbox oil level is correct. And again, with that, what you could do there, you get your filling hose side. You push it in through there. Get that in there. Push it in through there. Tighten this down. Twenty mil, twenty four mil spanner. Once you all tighten it down guys, it's going to be leak proof. 
put a bit of PTFE tape in. That ain't going nowhere. You could put your filling side in there, um, screw that in, screw that, put your double sided nipple in, and then start pumping. So you're still going to need this pump here just to pump it all in. This tool here, so you're going to be pumping the gearbox oil from this end here. This is going to be closed off so the gearbox oil won't fall out that way. And once it comes upwards, then after that, if you wanted to check your gearbox oil level, what we do is basically we'll close off this one with the Motronics or the S-Tronics is between 35 and 45, but they vary with Mercedes and BMW. So just check the procedure for your own vehicle, what temperature it should be when you have it running to um, check the uh, oil level. So with the DSG and the Motronic and the AVT and the Audi, basically once you've pumped it in and you've got it to 35 degrees, you close this side off and open this side off and if it, if, it's, if it starts dribbling out, that means there's, um, there's a correct gearbox oil level. So you want to let it drip all the way till it's got a steady stream. And once it's at a steady stream, you can shut this off and close off your, your filler cup for your gearbox oil. This pump here, this is the pump. It's really useful. It's a very good way of doing it on the cheap if you guys are looking to do it. You could buy one of these ones online for about, say, 30 pounds. You could buy this, it's got the same thread, an M10, it's the same one. You could buy this for two quid. Just be very careful when you're screwing this in. Like I said, make sure you screw this side in first before you go ahead and put this on. It does the job, guys. So like I said, if it's not for professional, but well, it does the job, even they could use it as well. But well, if you've got your own gearbox device, that's good on you. But if you've not and you want to do it on the cheap, but this device doesn't but doing it on the cheap doesn't mean you know, this is just a filling device. The most important thing is make sure you know the procedure of your gearbox, how you fill in and what the temperature level is to check your oil gearbox level. That's the most important thing. This is just a device that you know, it's not it's gonna create less mess and it's gonna give you um, a good uh, platform of putting everything in because usually when people put it in I've seen people doing it with the bottle itself and it gets all messy and you lose a lot of fluid and all sorts go wrong this device here is going to give you a good platform of pushing it all in but you need to make sure you know your gearbox temperature level when to check your gearbox oil level and the cycle and the procedure of putting it in Hey guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video, please like and subscribe.